2020 is here. I know for myself, 2019 just went by like that. There's some great things that I experienced, was a part of, and saw, and there were some difficult things that I had to live through. And so, a brand new year, uh, there's something uh, psychologically um, encouraging that you can take down the old calendar, flip the last page, uh, read the last chapter in the Bible, and, and just begin again fresh start, new beginnings. And so, you know, as as we enter into this brand new year, uh, we have an opportunity to kind of set the, the thermostat of what we want our new year to be. The other day I, uh, I taught our, our young adults about setting the atmosphere of our life. Uh, just like in my house, I have a little box, a little box in my hallway and it has a thermometer that tells you it's you know 65 degrees in the house, but it also has a thermostat, and that thermostat is triggered whenever the thermometer reaches a certain temp. If I don't want it to be uh, hotter than 79, uh, I can set my thermostat to 78, and when it reaches 78, the big box outside, something that's unseen, will begin to move, the, the, the refrigeration will begin to flow, the fan will begin to blow, and in just a short order, a cool breeze will, will begin to infiltrate my home. And the same type thing, like here in the wintertime, I can say, you know, I don't want it to be colder than 66 degrees in my house. And so uh, as that cold air begins to penetrate my windows and doors, uh, doors open and close, uh, that, that, that temperature begins to drop. When, when the thermometer says 65, that, that, that big box out, that little box tells the big box uh, uh, something's got to happen. And so uh, the furnace begins to, to, to ignite, the gas begins to flow, the fan begins to blow, and, and then there is this warm atmospheric change begins to move into my house. And I, I set that. And so in this new year, I have an opportunity to, to, to set some expectations. You know, this year... I have made up my mind that even though maybe I didn't read the Bible as much as I, would, I won't, won't want myself to, I didn't, but by the help and grace of God, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read my Bible more. I may not have been as faithful to the, to the church as I should. Uh, you know, Maybe I went twice a month uh, on Sundays, but this year I'm going to go to church on Sunday and I'm going to go to church on Wednesday. And, and I know that if I do that, and I make up in my mind, I, I, I'm, I'm very likely to do what I decide to do. Now, here's the thing. This is a powerful concept I learned a few years ago that I make excuses for things that I don't want to do and I make exceptions for things that I want to do. And so here at the beginning of 2020, I, I, I challenge you. Let's set our thermostat that our atmosphere has some set parameters. I'm going to be more prayerful. I'm going to be more faithful. I'm going to be more thoughtful with God's help. I downloaded an app the other day. Uh, someone told me about it. It's called Habit. And uh, myself, I, I want to be intentional. And so the app gives me an opportunity. I, it asks me a question at 9 o'clock in the morning. Have you prayed today? At 11 o'clock uh, during the day, it says, have you read your Bible today? At, at noon, it'll ask me, have you exercised today? And uh, later, he'll tell, I, I'm a writer, and, and I, I want to write every day. So it'll ask me, do you want to, have you written today? Uh, it'll ask me, have you connected today? Have you uh, shared your testimony with someone today? And I've got about eight prompts that through the day it'll pop up. And I can either say yes or uh, remind me in four hours. And uh, it's helped me. I, I started doing it uh, just like the 26th, the day after Christmas. And so I'm kind of getting in the rhythm but ultimately, I want 2020 to be, uh, I'm gonna, I want to set my thermostat. I may have, bad things may happen, sad things may happen, difficult things may happen. But whatever it is, I have, am persuaded that I can intentionally make some decisions that will uh, help my life not be so greatly impacted. Jesus said, he that heareth and doeth my word is like a wise man who built his house on a rock.
He just made a decision. I heard the word. I'm going to do something. He that heard the word and didn't obey the word is like a, like a foolish man. The storm came and destroyed his life. But if I can decide, you know what? I love God. I love the word of God. And I'm going to build my life. I'm going to set my parameters. I'm going to make up in my mind. I'm going to be faithful. I'm going to be prayerful. I'm going to be studious toward the Word of God. I'm going to, I'm going to be faithful to, to going to church for my good, but for my children's good, for my spouse's good, for my, my neighbor's good, because my world will be better if I'll be more prayerful. My world will be better if I will be more thoughtful. My world will be better if I'll share my testimony. And so my 2020 challenge for me is... I'm going to be intentional that 2020, no matter what I didn't accomplish, no matter what I didn't, uh, uh, wasn't able to do, it's an old calendar. Take it down off the wall. And this year, with the help of my little habit app, look it up. It's a great little app. It's helping me. Maybe it'll help you. But I encourage you, make up in your mind, 2020 is going to be a better year because I'm going to set my thermostat. I'm going to make some decisions. And 2020 is going to be a year like I've never had before because I'm going to make some decisions and begin to do some things like I never had before. Well, God bless you. My name's Scott Phillips. I'm with Spring Ridge Church. And, uh, you know, if you live nearby and and uh, are not currently going to church or maybe you're just not feeling fed or satisfied or whatever, Everybody has whatever reason why you're not going to church. But if you're looking, if you're praying, or you feel prompted uh, through the things that you see on this page, please join us. Spring Ridge Pentecostal Church, Sundays at 11 for worship, 10 for Sunday school, Wednesdays at 729. Come be with us. You'll, You'll learn things about the Word of God. You'll meet people to fellowship with your faith and, uh, and gain new friends. So, You're invited. God bless you. Uh, 2020, it's going to be a great year.